Hi, I'm Anastasia from Tech City News and this is your Week in Tech. Today we're at an extra special venue, Sir Richard Branson's family home in Oxfordshire for the finals of Pitch to Rich. Hundreds have battled it out to become one of the six talented startups on stage in the finals who are now pitching to some of Britain's best entrepreneurs. Judges include founder of Jack Wills, Not on the High Street and Moonpig.com and of course Sir Richard Branson himself. There's a people's vote as well as the judges' vote and the winning startups will receive prize money, invaluable mentoring and a coveted spot in the Accelerator Academy. OK, the winner is... Boxtag. <laughs> Thank you, thank you Richard and uh, the judges that believed in us and uh, give us this opportunity, it was incredible. Robotic arms are no longer the stuff of science fiction as the FDA has just approved the first robotic arm for real life use. The deck arm can pick up things as delicate as grapes, it replicates tiny human muscle movements and more importantly it actually looks like a real hand. This cutting edge technology doesn't come cheap at 40 million dollars to make but it's a far cry from the metal hooks of the past. And from one exciting venue to another, we have one more special surprise for you, Tech City News' very own TV studio. And the best part of having our own TV studio is that we can do this and this. Marissa Mayer went on another shopping spree this week, acquiring a Snapchat-style messaging app called Blink. You won't be seeing the app on our download of the week anytime soon, though, as it will self-destruct in the coming weeks. Yahoo were after the app's talented team and will be shutting Blink down for good. The team previously worked at Google and are rumoured to be focusing on Yahoo's new product, including more content for mobile. Living in London, we all know what it's like to penny pinch, and our download of the week helps your cash go further. Here's founder Suzanne Noble to explain Frugal. Frugal is the only events discovery app that helps Londoners on a budget find free and low-cost things to do. And you've got to download it now. Frugal is available to download now on iPhone, so get saving. And finally, how much would you pay for lunch with Tim Cook? Well, one Apple fanatic just forked out $330,000. That's an expensive sandwich. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.